Good day guys, um, today we'll be talking about uh, defects of the diaphragm, right, defects of the diaphragm. This is the MBBS Niger, kindly do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So the question is, a number of defects may occur during the complex embryological story of the diaphragm, during the development of diaphragm, okay? And these defects will give rise to congenital hernia of the diaphragm, okay? That's like defects, openings, and it will make parts of the esophagus to actually protrude through the diaphragm okay so name and briefly comment on these defects that can lead to hernia so we have um we have the bogdalek hernia we have the mogagni hernia and we have the central hernia okay so you could see everything let's move so the defects are through the foramen mogagni which is anteriorly through the xiphoid process and the costal origin. So this is Mogagni hernia, and this is like through the anterior part of the diaphragm, okay? That's through the xiphoid process and the costal origin. And the defect could, could also be through the foramen bogdalek. And um, if this is the anterior portion of the diaphragm, this is occurring like behind okay but by the side okay so that's like posterior lateral hernia so through the foramen bogdalek is a posterior lateral hernia okay and it is situated posteriorly then through congenital large esophageal hiatus okay uh through congenital large esophageal hiatus that that could be like uh, the central hernia okay through any large esophageal hiatus okay so let's go over it again be through the um okay it could be through the side that's a bogdalek okay it could be through the central a large esophageal hiatus i could be the anterior part that's the foramen mogagni okay so that's it about uh defect of the diaphragm okay that's a uh, through the foramen mogagni foramen bogdalek and large esophageal and central hyenas okay so that's it about the defects of diaphragm leading to hyenas right so see you guys next tour and bye for now